advertising has been around for as long as there has been something to sell. From old time carnival barkers to television to print and the online pop-ups you see today, companies are always looking for new and unique ways to get their message across to you. But one thing that's always been tried and true is the traditional advertising banner. In the world of banners, a centuries-old technology that hasn't changed in a very long time, things have now changed drastically. Come with us to historic Wellington, Ohio and meet the world's greatest in the banner business, E.L. Hatton Sales. In the past, advertising banners were printed either by hand painting, screen printing, or adhering stick-on graphics. Then they were reinforced to withstand outdoor conditions by sewing a hem and installing metal grommets to strengthen the fastening point for ropes, a technology that was unchanged for nearly 200 years. And while still in use today, it's very time consuming and very labor intensive. E.L. Hatton Sales came along and invented a way to make a better mousetrap, as they like to say, called banner ups. In the early 1990s, banners were really becoming popular as a form of outdoor advertising. The problem with a sewn and grommeted banner is that it can lose a lot of its tensile strength. Banner ups are made of high strength polymer films that are laminated to very specialized adhesives and then die cut into shapes that fit the corner of the banners. The real secret to the product is that it spreads the force of the wind load over a much bigger area than a grommet and they're so easy to use. You just basically peel and stick to the corners of the banner and you're ready to go. Just how much stronger are banner ups than all else? E.L. Hatton conducted wind tunnel tests in a government research lab. Banners fabricated with full banner ups and power tape system withstood winds up to 98 miles per hour, hurricane force winds. Since the creation of banner ups, E.L. Hatton's distribution network has exploded they now have over 450 outlets nationwide and even have made their way into Europe and around the world. In the old days, banners were made in large screen printing factories where people had the space and the equipment and the skills to do sewing and grommeting. But the digital printing revolution has changed all that. Now it's easy to print digital banners in the small shop or office environment. That's where our solution works so well because it doesn't require any special skills or equipment. And most recently, E.L. Hatton has introduced Bravo Banner System, a fully automated banner making system that will take the banner industry by storm. We're currently developing a machine that would fully automate the process of applying our tabs and tape. We call it the Bravo Banner System. Basically, printed sheets will be fed in one end of the machine and seconds later, a fully fabricated, super strong banner will come out the other end. Uh, we think that this will have tremendous impact because it will dramatically reduce the production time and cost of making banners, especially in large volumes. Taking an industry and making it more powerful than it's ever been before, E.L. Hatton Sales is the world's greatest.